Hello and welcome everybody to my first tutorial. My name is Jonas and today I'm going to show you how to add texture to an image. First of all, why would you want to add texture to an image? Well, let me show you. We are just going to zoom in here and as you can see there's a lot of texture or noise in this area and sometimes when we when you're recharging, it can happen that you get blurry looking areas. Those come from using a lowered opacity via the cloning stamp or just painting in some stuff. And of course, that looks very fake. As you can see, that was how it looked before, all that noise around here. And that's how it's looking now very clean, very mm, very blurry. And we are going to fix that now. For starters we're going to use File, New and create a new file. 500 by 500 pixels. Okay. We're going to edit, fill, fill that layer with a 50% gray. Okay and use a filter, noise, add noise. For the amount we are going to use 2% distribution of Gaussian and the monochromatic checkbox turned on. If you want to see what the monochromatic checkbox does is it adds, uh, it removes all the color from the noise. So that's how it is turned off and that's how it looks with the checkbox turned on. I don't think that color noise is any good, so I'll suggest you to leave it turned on. Okay. The next thing we're going to use is a filter, pixelate, mosaic. The mosaic filter adds little squares to the image. That makes the noise look a bit more realistic. We are going to use a cell size of two squares for this image and press OK. The last thing that we are going to, to do is choose Edit, Define Pattern, give it a nice name, for example, Noise2px. 2 oops, uh, to mosaic. Press OK and go to File, Close. We don't need to save the file because we just saved as uh, we just defined it as a pattern. OK. Now back on our original file, we are going to use a layer, new fill layer, pattern. Name it as well, for example, noise. OK. And select our just created noise. Once again, press OK. Now, what we are going to use is a blending mode that neutralizes all the middle grays. That means all the grays that are R equals G equals B equals 128. That would be 50% uh, gray. Oops, uh, that's a 50% gray. All that gray will be deleted. Everything lighter will lighten the image. Everything darker will darken the image. The group of blending modes that does exactly that begins with overlay and ends with pin light. So we are going to use overlay and that way we are, we've are we got rid of all the gray and are adding noise to the image. Okay, looks pretty good. But there's a little problem because we're not just adding noise to the areas of blotchiness, we're adding noise 
all over the image. And that's not what we want. So what we're going to use is image, oh, nope, sorry, layer, create clip, clipping mask. That way the noise is just added to the spots. As you can see, it looks pretty neat, but there's a little problem because the noise here is much finer than the noise you can see all over the rest of the image. And to fix that we're going to double click on the noise layer and use the scale function. And that's the benefit of using the pattern fill because you can scale your noise from 1% to 1000%. And that way you can very easily simulate the width of the noise in the rest of the image. I'm going to use a scale of 240% and as you can see that removed the blotchiness and the area looks a lot more realistic. I hope that you enjoyed my little video tutorial. The next video will be about using frequency separation to recreate very detailed texture, for example skin, shirts, hair and so on. Until then, see you next time, goodbye!